Hey guys, hope you're doing well and staying cool. Um, it's been really, really hot over here and the weather has seriously made me so lazy. Like, when it's hot like this, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go outside. I just want to stay indoors where there's air conditioning and just, like, collapse on my bed. Um, but I want to do this video reviewing some of the products that I've been trying out recently and they're all from a website. Um, called cleopatraschoice.com. I'll post that link down below. Um, they sell tons of different products from like all around the world with ingredients that are unique to those parts of the world. Um, just to name a few, you can get a products from Italy, from Africa, Australia, Morocco, Dead Sea, even the United States, um, Japan, um, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I was given an opportunity to try out some of the products and I wanted to tell you guys what I thought of the stuff that I've been trying out and um, yeah, I guess I'll start with my favorite things. There was a tie between two of the products, so um, I'll talk about this one first. It's the Hairganic Intensive Serum enriched with argan oil from Morocco and this is for dry and colored hair. Um, this brand, the Hairganic, they have several different um, hair products that come in this type of bottle um, but this is one that I got and I love it I really really do excuse my hair today um, I guess I've been really hot outside um, um, but this is actually a really this is made in Israel um, and you get 3.57 fluid ounces and I love this stuff this stuff has been amazing um, I've been getting compliments lately uh, people saying my hair looks really shiny and really healthy, what do I do in my hair? And I was like, you know, I haven't done anything different. And then I was like, wait a minute, I've been using this. And um, I really like it. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. It was like full when I got it. I really like how this smells. It kind of has like a like a fruity, perfumey smell. It's really light though, not overpowering at, at all. Um, and it's an oil. So it's argan oil based. You can see right there. It's clear, so that's nice. Um, it smells really, really good. It's very moisturizing. I put this on um, after I wash my hair when my hair is still um, wet or damp. And I'll usually concentrate it in the ends and then whatever's left in my hands, I'll rub it and I'll like put it all throughout my hair. Um, my hair just soaks this thing up. Like it's awesome. I love it. It's very moisturizing, very nourishing. Um, and again, it leaves your hair looking really healthy and really shiny. I love this stuff. And it's such a big bottle. And I think it's on sale right now on their website that... I don't feel bad for using it. Usually when I get oils, like hair oils, I use very, very little. Because honestly, you only need a little bit of this. Like really, a little bit goes a really long way. But sometimes I'll use this kind of like as a hair mask. Like I'll really like coat my hair um, with a good amount of it. Let it sit in my hair, maybe even overnight, and then rinse it out. And it feels really good. Like I'll put it on my scalp too. It's really, really great. Very conditioning. Um, yeah, highly recommend this. And again, it smells really, really good. Um, so I love that second product that I really fell in love with, I use this maybe two or three times a week because I love it so much, it's by a brand called Adovia, and this is their purifying mud mask, um, it's a big, let me just take it out, it's a big tube, like, it's huge, it's 5.1 fluid ounces, and it's, um, purifying mud mask with pure dead sea mud, aloe vera, and vitamin C, and it's for all skin types, and I really, really like this, again, I believe this is on sale on their website as well, um, and, yeah, this is so good. I use this, like I said, two to three times a week. It's really nice. It's like a, a green, like a dark green kind of muddy colored, um, mask. The scent is, you know, it's pleasant. It's not, it's not an amazing scent, but it also doesn't smell like typical, like, mud mask. It has a nice, like, kind of clean scent to it. Um, it feels really good when you're putting it on. It's very thin. It, I mean, it's not very thin. It's like a paste, but it applies really, really nicely, so it's not like super thick. You're tugging at your skin. It goes on really smoothly. It's It has a little bit like really, really fine, like I guess it's the mud, like little grains in it, so it feels like you're exfoliating as you're applying it, um, and then you leave it on for like 10-15 minutes. Sometimes I forget and I leave it on for longer, but it's fine. Um, it just draws out all the impurities from your skin. I use this after I wash my face, um, so I'll put this on. Um, while my skin's still damp, and I'll apply it, let it sit for, you know, 10-15 minutes, maybe 20 or 30 minutes, um, and then I'll rinse it off, and seriously, when I rinse this off, my skin feels so smooth, so clean, and it even feels like it left a bit of moisture on my face, and usually masks, um, will leave me feeling kind of dry, and I want to, like, slap on moisturizer right after. This feels really nice, so I was very, very impressed. 
I really like this. And again, you're getting a good amount of products on here. You probably do your whole body a couple times with this. And I've been tempted to do it. I haven't done it yet. Um, but I've done like my face and neck and stuff. But this stuff is really good. Again, it leaves my skin feeling super clean and um, just really, really smooth feeling afterwards. Um, whenever I feel like I'm getting a breakout, like I used this last night, like my face right here. I don't know if it's if it's the weather. It hasn't been agreeing with me. Like I feel like I'm about to get a breakout, so I'll use this sucker and it kind of helps clean everything out even more more so than what I normally do um, so definitely a really great product um, another product that I did really like also was it's by the company Cleopatra's Choice and it's their argan oil it's just pure argan oil it's like 100% on here it says the ingredients like if you read the ingredients list I don't know if my camera is going to focus probably not oh it did Pure, raw, unrefined argan oil. That's all that's in here. It's just argan oil, and there's a fuzz. And it's nice because it has a little um, spray top. But because it is like a, a thicker oil, it doesn't really come out as like a fine mist. Um, let's see. We might regret doing this, but... Did you guys see that? I don't know. But see how... It's not like a fine mist or anything like that, but I don't use it. I just use it to dispense the product. Um, but you can see it's super nice. It's just pure argan oil. Um... And you can use this anywhere. You can use this on your body. You can use this on your hair. Um, I've actually, just to like fully test this out, I washed my face, um, used, you know, the mud mask and everything. And in place of my moisturizer, I used this guy just to see how it would work on my skin. Because um, you can use this on your face. What does it say on here? Directions for face and body. Apply and gently massage into skin. You can use this in your hair too or your scalp and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to see how it reacts to my skin because you're thinking, you know, like oil. Why would you put oil back onto your skin when you're done cleaning it and everything? Seems counterproductive, but um, I don't know. It worked really well. My skin, like I said, drank it up. It didn't leave like a sticky, greasy residue. You can see I applied that on my hand, and it just leaves it moisturized. And you can see that it's not like greasy well, let's see let's rub it into my knuckles but it doesn't leave you feeling greasy it soaks it in especially if you have like drier skin your skin will just like absorb this it's just really really nice 100% organic from Morocco um if you have really really oily skin on your face I don't know if I would recommend it but it worked fine for me I used it a couple times I had no breakouts no irritation um nothing just left my skin really um moisturized feeling in the summer I don't really like to put a lot of oils on my body just because it's kind of hot but um I have used this a few times on my legs, and like I said, my skin just, you know, sucks it up. It works really nicely. It's very moisturizing. It's a good multi-purpose product, um, and I think their price for that is really good, too. This bottle is huge. It's four ounces. And I, you can see I've used this a few times on my body, like on my legs, especially to moisturize my legs, um, and I haven't made a huge dent in that yet, um, so I really like that. And I, oops, I sprayed it all over my keyboard, um, but anyway. Okay, and then I got to try out one of their um, toners. This is their deep clarifying toner from a brand called Madara, I guess. It's, it says Madara Eco Face, um, and it's their deep clarifying toner for oily to combination skin. Um, the scent of this kind of smells... Um, kind of smells citrusy, kind of herbal... Um, I liked it. It worked fine. I wouldn't say it was anything like super spectacular. It didn't really stand out to me. I'm a, a big toner girl. Toner or astringent. After I wash my face, I feel like I need something else before I put on like my moisturizer. Otherwise, I feel like it's not absorbing. And I've done it several times where I don't use anything in between my cleanser and moisturizer. And I feel like my moisturizer just sits on my skin. My skin feels kind of irritated. Um, kind of dry and tight feeling. So I always like to use a toner and astringent. Um, you know, some people might not like to do that. I do. Um, usually a toner will kind of balance out the pH of your skin because some cleansers can kind of, you know, mess it up a little bit. And so it kind of gives you back that balance so that, you know, I find that when I do use a toner, like I said, that whatever products I use afterwards apply a lot better. Um, this one, like I said, I wouldn't say it's any better, any worse than any other ones that I've tried. I mean, it works. Um, it's just not like, you know, super amazing or anything like that, but I like it because it does, you know, if you have missed anything when you're washing your face, it's nice because it picks up any extra dirt you might have left behind or whatnot. Like I said, this is for oily to combination skin. I love like anything that's deeply clarifying. I have a problem with my pores and I, I really try to keep them clean because I have larger pores, so it's very apparent if they're dirty. Um, and then I got to try this last product out and it was the Adovia Natural Sulfur Soap. 
um, based on sulfur and Dead Sea Minerals. And again, this is for all skin types. But I will say that I don't, I personally wouldn't recommend this for people with really dry skin. And I'll show you. This wasn't my favorite product just because I felt like it was kind of drying. And normally when I get, like, soaps like this, I like to cut them up. I don't like to take the whole bar in the shower with me because I feel like I'm wasting the product. Um, it's going to dissolve a lot faster. So I like to cut off little chunks um, and then use little bits of that. Um, but this is a bad idea for this one. I'll show you. Because it's kind of a drier bar. It's definitely not, um, like, a, a moist, like, squishy type bar. You can see, like, when I cut into it, it kind of flaked off and broke off. So, um definitely kind of like a drier type bar of soap and it's probably because of the sulfur um, you see a lot of um, you know acne type products some of them will use sulfur because it's good you know kind of to dry out your pimples or whatnot um, so I thought it would, this is a good product to try out um, however I can see that it would really work because it really does get it it really cleans it doesn't lather very much at all so I will say that um, I tried to use this with my Clarisonic I've used several like facial bars before with my Clarisonic no problem I'll usually like lather in my hand apply it to my face and then I'll take my Clarisonic and go over it I did this with that um, or I did that with this and I felt like my Clarisonic didn't want to glide over my skin as easily because the bubbles what, what little I did get from it were kind of more dry and they didn't you know it didn't glide over as smoothly so I wasn't a huge fan of this if you have really really oily acne prone skin I can see that this would probably be a good thing to try out because it might help you out that way but if you have um, kind of drier um, skin I don't know if I'd honestly recommend this to you there is another bar they have other bars by the same brand different ones they actually have like a specific one for acne I think I'm not positive um, but I like the idea of having, you know, like a facial bar and a body bar in one. Like I said, I usually cut it up, um, but I will use it both, like, on my face. I'll lather it in my hand, use it on my face, or, you know, lather it in a, in a washcloth or, like, a shower proof or loofah. I use it on my body, and it makes it, um, really economical because bar soaps are usually a little, um, cheaper than, like, cleansers and stuff, and the other face bar that I'm currently using, I really, really love, and, you know, I have no problem using a bar of soap. You sh I used to, it takes some getting used to, though, so I will say that. If you're not used to using bar soap on your face or on your body, it's going to take a while to get used to it because it doesn't have all, like, the stuff that makes you feel, like, all smooth, like, slick feeling. Um, so it takes some time to get, uh, you know, to get used to it, but um, once your skin gets used to it, I actually really enjoy it. So that's my review on the products that I got to try out. Again, I'll post the link to the website down below. Um, also post a link that you can use to save 10% um, on some of these products too. So yeah, um, let me know if you guys have tried any of these products out or if you've been on the website and tried other products, let me know. Um, but yeah, definitely my number one products are the um, Purifying Mud Mask from Adovia and the Hair Organic um, Intensive Serum. I really like this. Again, if you're looking for just straight-up organ oil, this is a really good product. It ends up being like $10 an ounce, I think, which I think is very reasonable. So, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.